Hello, I am about to talk about gores in medieval clothes and how I think they should be cut in fabric. And if that interests you, watch on. If not, you may want to scroll. So I have some experience with 18th century sewing, and we have a lot of existing shifts from the 18th century. And what that means is we know how they did their gores. We don't have as many surviving undergarments from the medieval period. We have very few, in fact, so there's a little more extrapolation. So here's the thing that is interesting about gores in the 18th century. They are cut from a rectangle, as I'm about to show. I'm also going to show this in a drawing because it's a bit conceptual. I've got my fabric folded. I have the width of half the gore that I want, and then I am going to measure from corner to corner using my measuring tape essentially as a straight edge, though you could use a real straight edge if you weren't so lazy like me. Then I'm going to mark that line with pins, or you could use chalk, and then I'm going to cut it. So what this is going to give me is two long triangles with one straight edge and one bias edge. I'll talk about bias a bit more in a second. And when I put them together, I end up with a gore. You can see that it's a bit pointed at the bottom, but I'm going to use that to my advantage later. How this looks in fabric is, if this is my piece of fabric, if I cut my triangle just out of the middle of the fabric, I end up with a lot of unusable fabric here. That angle is not great. Even if I line it right up with the edge, I still have that nasty little triangle of fabric on this corner there. So it's better if you cut it out the way I showed you, because then you're using your fabric more efficiently, and that's very important. I'm just showing you bias, what I mean by bias. So if you pull linen in either of the straight directions, it will not stretch because it's not a stretchy fiber. But this is true of every fabric, even if it is not a stretchy fiber. If you pull on the diagonal, you will get stretch, and that's what we call the bias. And this can cause problems in sewing, but it can be also used to your advantage. When I'm doing my gores, I like to put my bias sides together. Because that's what they did in the 18th century ones. And it also um, gives you, so you put your straights to the straight sides of your uh, shift, and then your bias seams go down the middle, and then you can trim that at the bottom to get the shape that you want. I also find that there are problems with drape when you cut straight out of a triangle, and that's another reason I don't like to do it, just cut a triangle out of fabric. Um, and again, just keep in mind, fabric was very valuable, it was very expensive, people wanted to get the most out of it. I think if it's a small gore, you definitely don't need to do this, but for a bigger gore, for a larger piece of fabric, I think you should always cut your gores this way. It adds more sewing, but it uses the fabric better.